All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, or Chakwarash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai. That's when the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechak Wadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. Salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I saw this post from a page that I follow on Instagram, and it's called uh, Jewish Lives Matter. Okay. And um, this is a uh, pretty good um, page to follow. You know, because it uh, basically um, highlights things that are going on with these, uh, you know, with these Jew uh, Jewish people, which we know that their true uh, biblical nationality are, are the Amalekites, okay? Which they're one of the um, tribes, and I'll say this, they, they are the top tribe, okay, of the Edomites, okay? And um, point being, though, is I saw this post. And it was, uh, it's actually a pretty heavy post. And, um, you know, you just had, you know, the anniversary of, you know, September 11th, you know, just bypass. And throughout the United States, you had a lot of these, you know, type of flags being, you know, um, displayed, okay? And I'm not going to read out loud what it says because, you know, that can clip this video, right? But, you know, you brothers and sisters see what it says here, okay? I'm going to, you know, you know, go through these slides. But point being, though, is um, what's happening is you're seeing, you know, a kingdom being divided, okay? All right? You're seeing a, a kingdom being divided. And, and the kingdom that I'm talking about is the kingdom of Esau, Edom. Okay? Because you're seeing these lower level... You know, Edomites, the, the, the other tribes of Esau, you know, they're pointing the finger, you know, at these uh, Amalekites, okay? And the main reason why they're pointing the finger at these people, okay, is because, you know, they're getting screwed out of their blessing, okay? You know, they're not getting, um, you know, a bigger slice of that pie like they want, okay? And with that all being said, there's friction among them, okay? There's tension, all right? And, uh, you know, let's start off with that scripture. I was going to start off in this Jeremiah 49, but the spirit switched. All right. Hold on real quick. Let's get it in Mark. I think it's Mark the third chapter. Yep. This is uh, Mark chapter 3 and 24, and it reads here. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot st stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. And you see, that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing the, you know, biblical Edomites, all right, which that's what this world will call today so-called white people, all right? That's their biblical nationality, you know, whether people like it, believe it or not, all right? The majority of, of uh, so-called white people... They are the true biblical Edomites, okay? Um, but point being, though, is you're seeing them being divided, okay? You know, like I said, you have the, the lower-level tribes coming up against the top tribe, all right? You know? And, and, and with that being said, you know, there, there's going to be, you know, a, a division, and there's going to be a fall, Okay? All right, eventually this is going to lead to their fall because what's going to happen is everyone's going to point the finger at those people. And those people, which I'll say this, they're the ones who are running the show right now. Okay, they, 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 their elites are pulling the strings, so to speak, right? With that being said, they're, they're going to be making moves soon. And we're in the time period where, you know, these Edomites, they're getting exposed, man, left and right. All right? They're getting exposed left and right. And you see, you know, st I'll say this, starting with those, uh, you know, those Amalekites, they, they don't like that, man. 
you know because they're they're supposed to be painted all right as the uh you know the pious people you know the holy the religious people of the lord right but what's been happening you know the past you know few decades they've been um being put on blast but especially the past you know let's just say you know 10 15 you know up to 20 years man they've been getting put on blast all right and that's because the heavenly father is now you know exposing these edomites showing them that they are you know the wicked of the bible all right they, they are that wicked nation as the scriptures talk about okay but this is jeremiah 49 and 7 and it says here concerning edom thus saith the lord yahweh of hosts is wisdom no more in teeming is counsel perished from the prudent is their wisdom vanished okay and i'll say this it is vanishing okay that's like a rhetorical question because really it, you know the lord knows it is it's, it's failing them okay all right because at one point i'll say this hey those edomites they were they, they were um you know you know they had it all so to speak you know you know they had all this technology they they, they had you know done things you know uh you know crafted craftedly if that's even a word you know all right you know and they, they they were you know um they were hidden from the spotlight okay and if they were in the spotlight they, they were like i said they were known as like you know the, the the holy the pious people okay the righteous people of the earth but now uh, you know everything's you know everything's being exposed now and they can't you know uh hide these things every time they you know do something it's being put on the forefront immediately they can't deceive anymore see the the, the the time of deception is you know is is running out now okay we're almost at the end of their reign all right let me keep reading it says flee ye turn back dwell deep O inhabitants of didan or i will bring the calamity of esau upon him the time that i will visit him and it says if uh, grape gatherers come to thee would they not leave some gleaning grapes if the thieves by night they would destroy till they have enough but i have made esau bear see the lord is making esau bear okay and it says i have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not okay and that main um point right there is that the lord has made esau bear He's uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. Okay, and you see, they're like I said, they're getting exposed left and right. And then this right here, you know, as you see on screen, this makes a lot of those you know patriot boys mad. You know those uh, constitutionalist, you know, uh, supporters. You know those you know good old boys. You know the you know the, those that you know those Edomites that love the good old USA. This makes them mad, okay? And you see what's happening right now, and people don't even realize it is, you know, you know, there's um, all these militia groups that are getting ready, you know, to go to war with the uh, with the government, man. Okay. And a lot of them actually, you know, hate hate these people right here, because they know that the, you know, they're they're behind everything. And then you have, you know, these, I'll say, the lower level uh, Amalekites. Be like well you know we have nothing to do with this or what are these people talking about and they really believe that you know that people just hate them because you know the the you know the, the jewish people you know they don't even realize what their upper elites are doing but anybody with half a brain and who does some research know that they these are the ones who are pulling the strings right now okay all right, let me get another scripture. Um, let me go up a little bit. This is um, this is uh, Sirach forty-one and five. It says the children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are conversant, conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly all right so hey the children of sinners are abominable children see everyone hates them even their own people man you know 
all right that's how bad those issues are it says the in inheritance of sinners children shall perish and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach and that's what's happening right now you see the like i said it's, it's starting with the issues and it's and you know trickles down to the other eat of my tribes right but those amalekites hey everyone hates them man they, they they have the perpetual reproach now and everyone's starting to realize who realize who's the bad guy okay of this earth and they're going to keep playing you know that victim you know a uh, role oh it wasn't me why are you all pointing i'm the victim here no man see they got that whole spirit of uh, uh of esau and cain on them you got to go read those uh the stories okay you know of those two individuals and if uh, when you you know uh, uh, uh you know read those stories they always played the victim man that's how they they do it now to this day okay let me keep reading the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake and that's what's happening okay these uh, the, the, these uh, uh edomites are complaining of you know the things that have been done are right, in the past you know what their people have done in the past they don't like it because now they, they you know what do they call it nowadays they call it white shame you know, it's not good to be an Edomite right now. People are really starting to look down upon uh, uh, upon them. Look at them with disgust. That's because they all the you know the lies and deceit is now being exposed. All right, let me keep reading. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Most High, Yahweh. For if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. And if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. All that are of the earth shall turn to earth again. So the ungodly shall go from a curse to destruction. Okay? And that's that's what's coming. That's what's coming to these people, man. Alright? This is what's coming to these people. You know, nothing but a, 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 a curse. Okay? To ultimately destruction. And they're losing their power. The Lord is, is stripping these, you know, Edomites' power. You know, starting, you know, with their top tribe on down. The Lord is really, you know, taking it away from them. And they're not doing so well anymore, man. You know. And this is going to lead, as the scriptures say, the, the, uh, the least of the flock to draw them out. This is going to lead these people to get the whole world into a, a, a third world war. Okay. Because the, the 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 kitchen's getting too hot right now, man. You know, it's getting too hot, so they don't want to deal with this. All right, but uh, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm gonna end this lesson off. You know, just a little quick one, just something that I saw that you know I found interesting. You know, and, you know, with this, you know, I'm gonna end it off, and I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.